Here's what's new in Apple Notes, Apple Reminders, and Apple Calendar in iOS 18. Hey everyone, it's Andrew and welcome back to the channel. With the full release of iOS 18 coming later this fall, right now you can download the public beta and get access to all the new features that are coming to iOS 18. And while the look and feel of all three apps hasn't changed all that much, there are enough features that make it, in my opinion, a big enough update worth mentioning. Let's start with Calendar. On the Today view, it pretty much looks the same, but there's a new option of multi-day. So you can see the next day at a quick glance or a swipe over. And if we switch to the month view, there's an option of compact, stacked, details, and list. It also shows great detail of the calendar colors that you've specified. If you tap on the plus icon, there's a new section for reminders. You can add a title, notes, select the day and time. You can set a recurring reminder, and if you tap on details, you have more options. And it's pretty much the same options that you get in the reminders app, so you can add tags, a location, a reminder pop up when messaging someone, you can flag it, prioritize it, and add an image or a URL. It's really cool that this now lives in calendars, and when you need to mark a task off your calendar, you can just tap on it like a reminder, and it's gone. But if you wanna keep your completed reminders in there, if you go to the calendar option, there's a setting to turn it on or off. Now switching to reminders, right away you can see at the bottom there's a recently deleted folder that if you need to recover and put back into your reminder list, you can do that. These reminders are deleted automatically after 30 days. And in your settings, you can also add a language for grocery to your reminders. So there's a couple options that you can choose from. And if you need to use it, you just turn that setting on. The biggest change with these updates is to Apple Notes. There's a new paperclip icon that replaces the camera from iOS 17. If I tap on it, there's a new option of attaching a file and there's an option of record audio. So now you can record an audio message into Apple Notes. And once it's recorded and saved, it goes into Apple Notes and transcribes what was said. You can also do this when you record a phone call and that will allow you to transcribe everything that is discussed on the phone call. There's a button to start recording the call and a notes notification that will pop up that will take you into Apple Notes. And once it's all over, it summarizes and transcribes the entire call. When adding a header into a note, the header is collapsible. And I just love this change. I don't know why, but I just really like it. And if you wanna make text stand out more, there's a new option to highlight the text with color. You can use purple, pink, orange, blue, and mint. Personally, mint is my favorite color right now for that. If I type in five plus five and equals, Apple Math Notes automatically gives me an answer to the equation. If you hit the three dots, you can quickly get into recent notes and you can see recent math notes. There's also an option in the three dots to use light mode, or you can switch to dark mode. And if I use Apple Math Notes in the calculator, it files the notes into Apple Notes. There's also a new folder called Math Notes and it saves it at the top. And if I do a phone call, it also has a new folder as well. Now, if you have an iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max, you will get support for Apple Intelligence. Of course, if you turn this feature on, you have to do that in settings. And I already did a video on that if you wanna check it out. But when you highlight a text, there's some Apple intelligent features that show. So you'll see proofread, rewrite, and the Apple intelligence icon. There's also friendly, professional, and concise options. And if you take on, let's say rewrite, Apple intelligence will give you an entirely revised text that you can either accept or deny. Or if I wanna draft up something and wanna make it sound short and sweet, I can select concise and it'll make the text exactly what I want it, concise. I can use Apple Intelligence as well to summarize text or even get key points. I can create a list or a table out of the text and it's actually incredible. So with all of these little changes to calendar, reminder, and notes, I think this is going to be very helpful for productivity and just staying organized. And big changes for the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max because of Apple Intelligence makes this a really big update for me. I'm a huge fan of these iOS apps and use them every single day, and I'm really happy that these changes have been made. If you like this kind of video, the best thing you can do is subscribe to the channel. We almost are at 35K subscribers. Thanks for watching everyone, God bless, and I will see you on the next video.